Hello everyone, welcome back to Mrs. Refu channel. Today's video is a very quick one. I'm going to show you how to make a very tasty, in fact the tastiest um, jollof rice with ground beef with some crayfish flavor and I promise you it is just amazing so you really need to try it and I know you've seen so many jollof rice uh, videos but you know we love jollof rice don't we <laughs> so um, please watch this video and if you have any comments please leave them uh, down below if you have any questions I will do my best to uh, send you a message or reply it as soon as I can and thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time bye 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 Hi friends, welcome back to Mrs. Dre Food Channel. I hope everyone is with well. In today's recipe, I'm going to show you how to make a very tasty ground beef jollof rice with a nice flavor of crayfish powder. And also, I'd like to tell you that I did not fry my ground beef. I used my air fryer, which requires much less oil. So if you are interested in knowing how to prepare this very, very tasty ground beef jollof rice, then please keep on watching this video and I'll see you next time. Let's get started. For this recipe, you need ground beef. You can use ground lamb if you like. So let's get started immediately. You need onion powder, about one and a half tablespoon and about one tablespoon of salt. That's it. And then you need to add about one tablespoon of vegetable oil. Mix it, shake it up, and that's it. Easy. And then you can air fry it if you have an air fryer. If you don't have an air fryer, you can use an oven or you can just fry it. So put it in the air fryer for about 25 minutes. You also need about three onions. You need one little can of tomato paste or tomato puree if you don't have this one. For the spices, you need one big tablespoon of hot curry powder, one tablespoon of thyme, two bay leaves, and one big tablespoon of smoked paprika. And of course, you need some rice. I have got basmati rice here, about eight cups. You need some tomato sauce. This is homemade one. So it is two plump tomatoes, some ginger, four garlic cloves, three scotch bonnet peppers and that's it and this is my ground beef after 25 minutes in an air fryer and you can see they look amazing and of course you need some crayfish powder or ground crayfish and i'm going to use about two tablespoons of it so now in your pan heat up some oil about half a cup of oil when the oil is hot you can fry your chopped onions so this is three chopped onions and this time i'm gonna let them caramelize as you can see here when it gets brown and then i'm gonna add my tomato paste my kind of tomato paste or tomato puree if you don't have it i'm gonna stir it if you're using tomato paste make sure you stir it very well because it's thicker than tomato puree okay and then you can add in your spices stir it and leave it to cook for about two three minutes on a medium heat next very easy you can add in your homemade tomato sauce it is very very easy to prepare you know so that's it stir it leave it to cook for about 15 minutes next you can add in one tablespoon of crayfish powder and one tablespoon of salt you can also add one Maggi cube stock like I did if you want, but it's just optional. Now stir it and add in your ground beef. You can give it another stir, leave it to cook for about 5 to 7 minutes on a medium heat. It is now time to add in our washed basmati rice or perfumed rice or long grain rice or even brown rice whatever you like stir it and now add in some water so this jello fries is easy i just added water okay so you can add about two cups of water depending on how hard or soft you want your jello fries okay so you just judge how much water you need next you can add in a bit more salt and now you can add the remaining tablespoon of 
ground crayfish or ground prawn if you prefer that one either one is okay now stir it and leave it on to cook for about two minutes and as you know for jollof rice you need to cover it so cover it with foil or parchment paper or anything you have for about 20 minutes to begin with so this is how the jollof rice looks after 20 minutes of cooking and as you can see it's not ready yet so cover it again for another 15 to 20 minutes and this is it my friends our ground beef um, jollof rice is ready but not completely ready you can now give it a nice stir but you know don't forget something you always have to leave some stew aside and put it on top when your jollof rice is nearly finished okay you put it on top you stir it and that's it and then you leave it on to cook for another two minutes and that's it guys your jollof rice is ready and it's smelling awesome in your kitchen and I know you just want to eat it so that's it guys ah uh, my god this jollof rice was amazing you know that's um, crayfish flavor that comes out of it oh my god oh my god you really need to try it okay friends so thank you all for watching this uh, recipe i hope you enjoyed it if you did please leave me a thumbs up share my videos give me um comments and support your girl as usual and i'll see you next time for another mrs jury recipe if you have any uh food recipe suggestions please don't hesitate to leave me a comment or to send me a message on instagram and um, i'll read all your comments and messages thank you all and uh, god bless you all bye bye and see you next time